Reading books introduces children to rarer words that they may not hear in everyday conversation. Knowing more words helps children become better readers. Parents, today when you see the title pages of our books come up, I'm going to list a couple of words that might be rare to your child and um, just kind of point those out so that you can be on the lookout for them. Noticing these rarer words helps you to develop their vocabulary. Hi everybody, it's Mrs. C from the Sand Lake Library. Today, I'm getting ready for Halloween with my story time. I bet you're getting ready for Halloween too. Today, we're going to do stories about monsters. <laughs> but it's okay. It won't be too scary. Let's go ahead and do our hello song. Are you ready? Ah. Uh, and down, turn around, touch the sky, touch the ground, wiggle fingers, wiggle nose, wiggle shoulders, wave hello. Right? The first story we're going to do today is all about a little duck named Daisy and her friend Pip. And they're really afraid that they found a monster. Oh, I'm a little afraid, afraid for them. Daisy and the Monster by Jane Simmons. And today we're going to be looking for those words meadow, pigsty, and orchard. Grandpa was just finishing Daisy's favorite story. They searched all over, but no one found the monster, he said. Cool, said Daisy. Grandpa slowly closed his eyes and began to snore. Don't worry, said Daisy. We'll find the monster. Monster, said Pip. The monster might be with the chickens, said Daisy. Cheep, cheep, chirped the chicks. Cheep, said Pip. Or hiding with the geese. Honk, honk, said the goslings. Honk said Pip. The monster's not in the barn, said Daisy. Ma, said the lambs. Moo, said the calves. Moo, said Pip. Or in the meadow. Bzzz, said the bees. There was no monster in the pigsty. Wee, wee, squealed the piglets. Wee, said Pip. Or in the orchard. Hoppity hop hop. Just then, there was a noise from the shed. Meow, it said. It's the monster, said Daisy. Ooh, said Pip. Daisy and Pip couldn't see anything. As they crept forward, something rumbled. Meow. Run, Pip, run, cried Daisy. It's the monster. We found the monster. The monster, said Grandpa. Where? There. 
Meow, said the kittens. Coo, said Daisy. Coo, said Pip. Grandpa laughed. And Daisy and Pip played with the kitten monsters all day long. <laughs> How about we sing a song? and we'll all pretend to be monsters. Are you ready? Monsters galore! Can you roar? Roar! <laughs> monsters galore! Can you soar? Soar! Monsters galore! Close the door! Monsters galore, now let's snore. <laughs> Good job. Our next book is about a silly kind of monster. Tickle Monster, written by Josie Bissette and illustrated by Kevin J. Atterbury. This book has lots of those rare words, like zaniest, sphinx, and request. You might find some others, too. I come from the planet Tickle, you see. I'm a monster, but not the kind you must flee. I'm the happiest, silliest, zaniest kind. My talent is tickling. I think you'll soon find. I've traveled the galaxy, planets and stars. I've tickled my way from Venus to Mars. I've traveled the world from Texas to Pisa. I've tickled King Tut and the great Sphinx at Giza. Tickling my lovies is what I do best. Are you sure you're ready for what's coming next? I'm all in a tizzy, quite frizzy and dizzy. My fingers are squiggly. Your piggies are wiggly. I may not be right, but I'd venture to say you ought to be tickled ten times a day. So please don't you move, you better stay putsy. My first stop will be your adorable footsie. I need just a moment, as a matter of factly, to scheme where I'll tickle you next exactly. I'll tell you a secret. You sweet little pea, it's time to tickle your cute bony knee. I want you to know the tickles are ending. Not true, of course. I'm only pretending. Get ready for laughter, cause here I come. To tickle and tackle your little tum tum. Let's stop if you will. I have a request. My fingers are tired. They need a short rest. Just for a moment, let's make funny faces. Be fishes or monkeys or something outrageous. Surely by now you must be believing. My spaceship is waiting and soon we'll be leaving. So let's say goodbye. Oh my, what the heck? I've decided to stay and nibble your neck. No camel or kitten or bulldog or beagle. No kangaroo, elephant, zebra or eagle. No octopus, platypus, chipmunk or toucan. 
knows how to giggle as well as you can. With big mitts like mine, my talents are obvious. Everyone says my tickling is marvelous. Here, let me prove it. Holy moly, kind kitties. The next place to tickle is your underarm pitties. <laughs> Hold still now. No jumping, or flinching, or wiggling. No smiling, or smirking, or snorting, or giggling. Now comes the moment for us to be serious. Next you shall see something very mysterious. For my crowning achievement, I'll tickle your toes and your elbows, your knees, your neck, and your nose, and your earlobes, your eyebrows, your chin, quite a tally. I'll tickle them all for my big grand finale. Phew, that's enough. I'm exhausted from laughing. I've had so much fun. What a great time we're having. But now I must leave. Find my coat, grab my hat. Planet Tickle is calling. It's time for my nap. Now please don't you worry and please don't you fret because Tickle Monster isn't done with you yet. Here's one more thing before I must go. I love you so much. I want you to know. <laughs> How about we sing a song using our five monsters? Do you have five monsters? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five little monsters. All right. Put all your monsters down and we'll count them like this. The first little monster has a big red nose. The second little monster has purple toes. The third little monster is such a fright. The fourth little monster plays all night. The fifth little monster says, Tee! I'm not scary, I'm just little old me. <laughs> all right, let's see. If you think you might be a little bit afraid of monsters, this next book is just for you because this is a book about getting rid of those big, scary monsters. Let's read it. Go away, big green monster by Ed Emberley. In this book, look for words like squiggly and scraggly. Big Green Monster has two big yellow eyes, a long bluish green nose, a big red mouth with sharp white teeth, two little squiggly ears, scraggly purple hair, and a big, scary, green face. But you don't scare me, so go away, scraggly purple hair. Go away, two little squiggly ears. Go away, long, bluish, greenish nose. Go away, big, 
green face. Go away, big red mouth. Go away, sharp white teeth. Go away, two big yellow eyes. Go away, big green monster. And don't come back until I say so. Check out some of these really cool monsters I made. Would you like to make some of your own monsters? All you need to do is give the Sand Lake Town Library a call. They've got monster making kits all set up for you. You just have to swing by and pick them up. Have fun! Let's do one last song before our goodbye song. One little, two little, three little monsters, four little, five little, six little monsters, seven little, eight little, nine little monsters, Ten little monsters can't scare me. I, did you enjoy the stories today? I hope so. And I hope it got you ready for Halloween. And it wasn't too scary, was it? Nah, of course not. <laughs> All right, we've got one last song. And do you remember what it is? Yes, it's our goodbye song. All right, let's do it. Up, down, turn around. Touch the sky, touch the ground. Pat your tummy, wink your eyes. Blow a kiss and wave goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you next time. I've got an idea. Let's all eat Mrs. C's arm.